In another video um, discussing tenders, I, I mentioned that I don't use uh, steel wool as a tender. It's just a personal preference, but I wanted to show you that it does work. If you've got an electronic device with you um, that uses 9 volt batteries, I found these are pretty easy to use. Or if you've got a little mini mag where you take out the bulb and you can put two pieces of wire in the holes where the light bulb went, that'll work as well. But this is just pretty simple to use. I've got three different grades of steel wool that I want to try today. Uh, the first one is super fine or it's got four zeros on the packaging. We'll grab a pad of that out of here. And as you can see, it's it's very, very fine. I'm just going to tear off a, whole, a little piece. I don't want to light up the whole thing. Um, when you're using a battery, basically you're just completing the circuit with the steel wool. And the wire, as you can see, or the, the individual pieces of wool are very, very fine. So basically, they're getting too hot, they start to burn. The circuit's overloaded. So let's see what happens. Starts up pretty easily. Would be pretty easy to get a fire going with that. I mean, if you keep at it, you can actually get that to burst into flames, but for this demonstration, not really necessary. I've got the bricks out here. I may be able to hear the wind chimes. It's a little bit breezy day, so I want to keep everything contained here and not start the world on fire. The next grade I want to try is um, just zero or fine. Now they do make a double zero and a triple zero in between them. We're going to skip over those and just go to the zero. Again, we'll pull out a pad, take off a small piece, and I don't know if it shows up very well, but the the individual strands in the steel wool are a little bit bigger than the quadruple zero. So let's see what happens when we take our battery to that. If the, if the strands are too big, they're not going to overheat and you're not going to get the spark or the ember on there. We do a little bit. You can see it spreading. Would be fairly easy to get a fire going with that. Got a nice hot ember with it. The next one I wanted to try is a coarse or a grade 3 steel wool. And I've already got a pad out. We'll just tear off a small piece of that. As you can see, the individual pieces are, are quite a bit thicker. So let's see what happens when we do that. I'm getting a couple of the individual ones to get overheated and burn, but it's not translating into getting the entire bundle to go. Let's tighten it up a little bit. I would call the coarse steel wool or the grade 3 a failure. I wouldn't use it. Um, if I was going to carry steel wool, I would carry grade 0 or finer into the woods. Um, grade 0 seemed to work pretty well. And the quadruple 0, so I would imagine that the two in between it would work as well as uh, also. Thanks for watching.